can I turn that around? There we go. I can't believe I did that. I'm so sorry. I had it right before the video. Go figure. Hmm? Anyway, oh my goodness. Can you believe it has been two weeks and one day? Oh, turn that off. Two weeks and one day since I've done a video. Um, thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for all your kind, kind, kind words. Um, like if, if that was a cold, that was the worst cold I've had in my life. And I kind of still have some of it. <clears throat> so if I have to cough, I apologize now. Okay, so we're going to get started. So I'm Sandy of Lolly and Sand, and I'm independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. Um, it's been more specifically in the Niagara region. I'm just going to straighten this out a bit. So I do realize this is a different time. It's not usually five o'clock that I go live. Um, it's just that we have plans for the evening, so I had to do it now. So do say hello and thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I wanted to show you this, um, what I've been working on, because you can still color when you're not feeling well, you know. Never stop coloring. Um, these are the gold foiled flowers cards and envelopes. So this is what it looks like when you get them. And I, and just in case you missed these, and let me know, did you miss these in the catalog? I thought they were so pretty. And look at the envelope with that really, well, can you see it better that way? Maybe. Isn't that gorgeous? The reason I wanted to show that to you is because I was reading on the package. Let me just take a look here. There are nine. No. Focus, Sandy. There's ten. And I thought, well, I want twenty. <laughs> so what I did is I left I left the sheet like this and then just proceeded to color. So you'll see there's different colors. These two go together. So when you're all when you're all done coloring, <clears throat> you're going to cut them down to fit our normal sized cards um, as a layer or as a second layer. So you'll be cutting those down so you can see how much smaller these are. What I want you to do though is make your first cut this direction, straight down, because you can save that piece and use it on the inside of your card. All right. So I'm going to be layering these after they're cut down, I'm going to be layering those and um, put them on a base and put a beautiful gold sentiment on it. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you, but that's not what we're working on tonight. No. All right, so we're going to do a little water coloring tonight. Ooh. So if you haven't, if you're not familiar with it, this is the Fluid 100 watercolor paper from Stampin' Up. I like the weight. This is good and heavy. I'm not sure why I think that's so important, but it is to me <laughs> for whatever reason. So what I'm going to do is I need a block. I need my, any old spray bottle will suffice. I need my water painter and we'll go from there. Okay. <clears throat> yep. Still have the frog. So I'm going to not get my not, we'll try to not get that wet. I have, a, I have a cloth right here to dry it, so I am actually saturating it. Okay, so just a bunch of spray water. And then the reason for the block is I'm going to take the Calypso Coral Reinker. Just You don't really need much. This goes further than you might think. So, um, I one thing I didn't check is to make sure I got all the color out of it from the last time. I'm really bad for not cleaning things, so let's just take a quick boo. Aha! I am seeing other colors. <laughs> I still have my old my old uh, water painters from Stampin' Up! as well. Yeah, we're gonna switch. Well, may, and it shouldn't take too long to clean. I just, I really don't want that greeny blue. Apparently I was having a lot of fun. Oh, I was actually! I used a lot of different colors. All right. You see now that looks clear? It's not making a mess, so that's what we're going with. Okay, this is still good and wet, and what I'm going to do is take another little spray of water and mix it up. Every time you do this, you're going to get a different color, so the quantities, the amounts, they really don't matter. All right, so, and then just spread this on. 
lightly. I'm going very, very lightly. Because the cool thing is, you can go back over it and spread that out and make it even thinner. So I do want it to go a little further to the sides. And I do want a little more water on here. This is why you really only need a drop, because you can see I'm really, I'm not using all of that. One thing you can do to help speed up the drying, that's the way I want it, nice and light. So one thing you can do, one, clean your brush. <laughs> Two, you can speed it up by, going with that. It's lighter and that's what I'm looking for. This I will set aside for later. Whoops, not there. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to that. I do need to dry this, um, because I don't want any of the cardstock getting wet. So how is everyone? We had this beautiful, um, gosh, what was it? In Celsius. I believe it was 14 degrees Celsius earlier. I, and that it's dipped, but no worries. I mean, technically, not technically, it is winter. <laughs> There's nothing technical about it. All right. Yep, that's dry. Water away. So we are going to be using these really beautiful dies and I'm going to show you how I did this everything's going to get cut down now because I wasn't sure that my voice would last through the entire video I did a bunch ahead of time so what you have here let me show you a bunch of the extra pieces you get a lot of dies it doesn't necessarily look like that but this big piece here that's all one and that's how I cut this out very simple, and it left this really cute pattern. Look at, there's little hearts, medium hearts, teeny tiny hearts. <clears throat> oh, I'm working on keeping that voice, I am. And then for this, there's a hybrid folder. This, I always say, if it says Stampin' Up, that's the top, okay? And I simply, I didn't want to cut it, so I simply put it in, knowing that I wanted half, half um, hearts, and then these guys to go down the center. So just placed it in and rolled it right through. Now when you want, when you are wanting to emboss and cut, which is how you'll get these guys, is this actually just fits right in here. Let me take that off. It's gonna be noisy because I've only taken it off like twice. I love that you get all these extra pieces, little sprigs, little flower doodads, hearts, more hearts, and then this little banner. So, you would... <clears throat> see how it fits right in there? And the way I did this one is I had the paper, without the holes obviously, in there and ran it through. Like that. But sometimes you don't want... Sometimes you just want the embossing, which is what this is. This is, that was the deboss side. So what is the name of this? Adorning Hearts Dies and, oh, Adorning Hearts Hybrid Embossing Folder. That makes sense. So I bought both and I believe there's a stamp set that goes with it as well, but I wanted what I wanted. Now I did take these dies after the fact and I ran them through. So you get these really nice lacy hearts. What you want to do is use the adhesive sheets because there's really not a lot of real estate as you can see, to put your glue on. But look at all these. I have all these for other cards. Because of course I when you're playing with when you're playing with your new sets, you have to try everything, right? So let's get this back on. Are you sad celebrations ending? I love getting free stuff. And I love welcoming welcoming new team members. And we have welcomed two in the last two days. Get in on that fantastic deal. All right, so what I want is a card front. This is way too big, and I want this to layer right on top. So I have my low-tack tape, and I, I was actually going like this earlier to try and get as much of the tackiness off. I think you could probably use painter's tape, and if you have used painter's tape, um, let me know in the comments. So. I have not tried to line this up perfectly, but I'm going to. That's a cool thing about using the tape, is I can just take it off. 
and put it back on. So I'm going to try going here. Because I'm being, I don't know why I'm being so delicate. It's not going to change the outcome. And I'm going to cut this down. So let's grab our trimmer. And to do this, I'm going to turn it upside down so I could see what I'm doing. I want to cut right along that line. And if I have to trim it down a little bit more, so be it. So I'm usually pretty careful. Oh, perfect. Now I don't need that for anything at the moment, so that goes bye-bye. Oh, you know what? I'm going to cut this, out, this other side first. I wanted to make some elegant cards that also had had some uh, pizzazz and I think well, that's hard to see a white on white I think this one fits the bill perfectly I'm going to leave that tape on by the way because I do want to um, adhere it adhere the pieces together now you could pop it up too but I'm not going to Okay, so there's the tape. It's not hurting. Actually, it's technically it's adhered, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> technically, it is. Let's bring out some more of the pieces. So what I did um, <clears throat> is I actually I prepared the rest of the pieces. Reason for that was again to not take a really really long time doing the video in case I um, lost my voice or started coughing because nobody wants to hear that. See that design? Is that not beautiful? I just think that is so pretty. And I decided to do white on white. All right. I am going to leave that tape back there. It's not hurting anything. Yeah. All right. Speaking of, there we go. I've never done that before. Just left something there. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine? Did I just do that upside down? Can you imagine if I did that upside down? Hang on. I did it upside down. Sandy, honest to Pete, why did you do that? Hang on, Sloopy. Let's see if I can fix it. I can't believe I just did that. Well, you know what? If you don't make a mistake every once in a while, every, I can still fix this, believe it or not. I'm going to take this off. It's not going to look the way I wanted. But hey, this is what happens when, when you haven't crafted for a while. I had these cards all prepped and ready to go uh, way back when. And then I, um, yeah, I messed it up. So, <laughs> obviously, so what I'm going to do, I am going to take this off because I'm a doorknob. How am I going to fix it? Oh, my gosh. I wanted that top piece on there. Okay. It is going to rip the paper a little bit, but that's okay because I'm going to turn the paper over. We're using the deboss side. So, um, lesson uh, 101 is when you wreck something, Think outside the box on how you can fix it. My gosh, it's so quiet in here. The dogs aren't barking. I can't hear my grandson being noisy. <sighs> Even the furnace isn't on, which is surprising. It's the next room over. That's why I'm... Okay, so we got that. Okay, let's take that off. Bad Sandy. Bad, bad Sandy. How badly did I glue them together? <laughs> oh my good granny I can't believe it thankfully there's a deboss side on well I don't like that now now how can I fix that there's glue here there and everywhere I think I really messed that up I think I'm gonna cut that again okay there is a solution to my mess all right bring it in oh man unbelievable that's what I actually because I was supposed to do my video last night that was my caption unbelievable because um, we have two dogs and the big guy um, kind of attacked the little guy and we went to the emergency emergency hospital to get him um, uh, not stitched up what do they call it they used sodium silver nitrate or something and cauterized the bleeding. I don't know that Big Dog knows his own strength. Okay, so let's put that on there. Oh, let's see if I can line it up. I think I've made a total mess of this, quite frankly. I will do my best. That's all we can ask at this point, because 
Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Well, you'll see how this works. It moved. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see that. Hello. Watching, um, yes, this is like the worst card tutorial ever. When you mess it up, you must clean it up. Okay. I'm hoping I'm doing this the right way. Okay. Just do it, Sandy. If it doesn't work, we'll just make a card that looks slightly different. Oh, I think don't need that plate. I believe I need... Do I need the blue plate? Yours might be gray. Mine's older. Okay. Oh, it's going through. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't believe I did that. Anybody else? Well, that's a nice shot of my hand. Sorry. And I'm hanging on really tight because the uh, what I have underneath here... The cutting mat moves around a lot. Okay. If I came in close, yay. If I didn't, oh well. Oh, wait. There's all the little pieces. So, please tell me I can put this on here. Heck yeah. Oh. Okay, again, it's not perfect. There's a lot of glue here and there. Um, just let me check one thing. It's not quite as pretty, but I can do it. I'm, I'm not liking that, um, unfortunately, because of the way I messed it up. So we'll make a different card. There's all the little bits and pieces. More hearts, more hearts. We will make a different card. Okay, card making on the fly. Oh, I just thought of a way around it. Hmm. Yeah, I did. Let's see which one's which. Nope. Er, my gosh. Because I wouldn't put my sentiment right there. Let's see, there's glue here. It's down this side. Oh, a little bit there, too. Oh, ladies, help me. What do you think? How am I going to fix this mess? Because I don't want to cut the other one as well. I could, but I, I don't want to keep you like forever and ever. I don't want to miss, miss going out for supper either. I haven't been out much. So, what we could do is. I can find the ones that match and just put those on top. Like so. Yep, that's what I'll do. I'll cover up the glue first. Oh, Sandy. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. And comments are always um, way behind, so don't mind if I miss, okay? There we go. Thank you for the thumbs up, by the way. I appreciate it. I really think I really, really, really need that vote of confidence right about now. And that one goes there. Any ones that I messed up, and I do believe that's upside down, but I'm not caring at the moment. <laughs> so some will be up, some will be down. Up there. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, bring it back. The only thing is this one didn't line up quite as nicely. But I still think we can get away with it. I do believe we can. All right. Okay. Don't glue it wrong this time, Sandy. Put the glue in here. It's part of my thing is like, why would I use so much glue? I'm I'm always saying, don't use so much glue. You use too much glue. You don't need that much glue. And it's true, you don't. Oh, I think we've almost saved it. I just have to... Ooh, I'm going to have to put one there, too, because that one's also sticky. Yep. A little glue on there. And we'll cut those off soon. Wow. Card number one takes an hour. All the other cards should be quicker. All right. Okay. That could be straighter. <clears throat> oh, wait. Cut it first. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Okay, we'll use my cutter. I was worried that the glue would be wet. Oh. Yeah, I was worried that the glue would be wet. And I do not like getting my blades messed up. But at this moment, we're just going to live with it. And if there's a little bit more that has to be cut off, I will do that. Groovy. Dun, da, da, da. Okay, that's looking better. That's more like what I wanted. Wait, that's more like what I wanted. That was the back. It is really hard to tell the back from the front. And that'll go right on there. Now, was I going to put... I was. So, 
I've already done the sentiment. This is Pebbled Path and I have used silver. Um, you might notice that that is actually not the entire sentiment. Do I have it handy? I'm not sure I do. No. Nope. No, I don't. But when you don't want the entire sentiment, all you do is tape off the part you don't want. Oh, here it is. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't find it. So it still has all the stickies on it. And to tape it off, you would simply go like this. So this one says, best wishes uh, and happy thoughts. So I just wanted best wishes. So get in there with some, I use scotch tape because I can see through it and I can see what I'm doing. Don't have the corner covered. Go like this and like this. Get it completely covered up. You're going to ink, ink, ink. Don't forget to take this off or you'll get that messed up ink and then you're good as gold. I do that a lot. I did it on card number three as well. Alrighty, so I cut out some of these guys. If you're familiar with the softly stippled, I believe it is, it's free paper from um, Celebration. It's free with a $60 order. And I will put all my, my um, shopping links on later and links to everything else that I do. So I wanted to keep this simple. An elegant an elegant card does not have to have a lot of a lot of bling and doodads, you know what I mean? Sometimes I think elegant and simple is the way to go. And other times I just make cards that are like over the top. So if you're like me, you're everywhere with your cards everywhere. Ooh, stay there. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I wanted to show you my little trick. This is part of the Simply Elegant trim. And um, it comes in, you get gold and silver in the package. And my little trick is to take the center piece out because I find it much more pliable when you do that. So you can use your fingernails or your take your pick tool, whatever you have handy. Take out the center. Of course, who can focus? To take out the center, it's white. And just get a hold of it. You know, your best laid plans. <laughs> your best laid plans aren't always your best laid plans. I have to say, um, I, I certainly saw a lot of television in the last uh, week or so. I know I didn't take it out, or maybe I already did. <gasps> One second, here comes a cough. <coughs> okay. I can actually see the little white piece right there, so I'm just gonna pull on it. How easy was that? I had to make it so difficult. <coughs> so sorry. Oh, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Hurry up, Sandy, hurry up. A little bit of stamp and seal. I just wanted something pretty simple with this. I'll make just some fun loops. And I will be cutting that extra, that's more than I wanted. We'll cut that extra bit of, um, that bit off, because I don't really want that. All right, do it a different way. Loop it on your fingers, loop it however you want, it will work. You will have command over this, there we go. All right, scissors. I like that it's stuck to my finger, actually. I don't usually, I most certainly won't lose it. Because if you're like me, you, you, you tend to lose things. And you, oh, one thing you'll notice with my cards is the tails are never the same length, never. I don't know why I have that aversion, I just do. Okay, bring these guys in. We'll put a couple of these, let's get rid of our tape now. We'll put a couple of these little sprigs on. I really like, I really like cutting from um, DSP because it's so unexpected, you know? Can I get one in there? Well, yes I can. All right. I get right about there. I do like that. Okay, and before I push down, make sure that's even. 
<clears throat> I hear one of the dogs now. Why? I don't know. Alrighty. And these are the glue dots that are on the inside, so I know this is a new package. Alright. And I don't think I'll use these. They don't I don't think they really are suiting what I, I want right now. Stop moving. There we go. So I can't remember if I mentioned this because I have such a good memory. My uh, the whole family, my daughter's husband and his family and my daughter and my grandson, they just got back last night, late last night from Punta, Punta Cana. And unfortunately, they all got sick. <clears throat> they all got sick and it was, I didn't see, I only, I didn't see any of them. No, that's not true. I saw my, I saw three of them. Um, yeah, it may be because of me. These are, these are my favorites, you know that. Nice and delicate. And I'm just using the small ones. Um, okay, I'm not doing the inside on this one. Because I use the inside piece. So there's card number one, the longest card ever. Just the texture in it alone says it, as far as I'm concerned. All right. Card number two. Oh, actually, we're going to do card number three, and we'll come back to the first card last. Okay, so for this card, this my cards are about texture. And I do believe I did, yeah, yeah, measurements later. I think I did say that. So this one, uh-oh, did I write it down? Sandy. Painted texture or something like that. It's from the annual catalog. Basic white. I, I rarely use the thick. Um, because mostly because I rarely don't put all the layers, a bunch of layers in. So let me think. Oh, and I wanted to show you this is Pebbled Path again. And this one I have. What you want to do first? First you die cut, okay, and then you run it through. Um, and with an embossing folder, the embossing folder. Reason for that: if you do it the other way. So you emboss first, and then you cut. You'll flatten these out. And you don't want to do that. <clears throat> All right. So actually, let's do this. This is that same piece that I use for those little sprigs. Um, I had extra, <laughs> so I'm thought I'm using it. And I'm probably just going to go about like that. So this is five and three eighths. So that's what I'll cut this to. Or, if you like hearing it the other way, two little lines below five and a half. Oh, and I have another card to show you when we're done. So I have four cards in total, three that we'll make, and that, and then three, or one that I'll just show you, because I made it for, oh, I made it for um, the week that I was going to do these cards. I did the, another card for our um, team Instagram hop. And yes, I am on Instagram, Lolly and Sand. Feel free to follow me there. Um, you know I like texture, so to me, the, this looks like looks like it has texture, doesn't this definitely does, and this definitely does. So now, put that on last. This is the base, yes. Glue it down. So my point about gluing is you don't have to do the whole inside. You do not have to zigzag all over it. Your glue will last a lot longer, and you will thank me for that. We're not glue wasters. We're not paper wasters. Whoop. I'm using my wiggle time to maneuver that, and I, I was apparently stronger than I thought. All right. So I have that, and I have also using the same color, um, heat embossed in white. I cut this using, I think it's the timeless arrangement dies and I just wanted to show you so this actually says love you more but I just wanted to say love you so I just masked over the word more so let's get that on there too I also not sure what I was doing with them I love pebbled path of the new in colors is my favorite in case you hadn't noticed <laughs> you've probably noticed oh and I know this is in the mini catalog, 
This is the Eclipse Coral color. Looks like Flirty Flamingo, actually. I could be wrong, but it goes. So we'll, we'll, we'll stay with that thought. And um, I do believe you get Lemon Lolly and a blue. I didn't write that down. How are we gonna do this? I think I'll just do the same kind of thing. You know I love my loops, right? I like when they loop. It's simple. You don't use you don't use a ton of it. Gotta find the sweet spot on my scissors. I definitely need to sharpen them. And off my finger. You you know that seal is really strong when it sticks to your fingers. So now the mini catalog keeps going by the way. It's gonna go to the end of April. Um, it's celebration that's ending. So if you see anything from my video that you want, um, get it with Celebration. Um, let's just cut that guy in half. Let's see if we can finagle one right about there. And then we're ready for that. Alrighty. I was gonna say, please don't tell me, oh, I have to show you this. I was playing with, I don't know if you can see that. I wanted to see what would happen if I used a blending brush in the same color. I didn't like it, so we flip, I flipped it over. No harm in trying, right? This is another really simple, really simple card. Um, a little more simple than the first one. Whoops, stay. You do need to go this direction. And do need to just give it a little hold down and make sure everyone's staying put. All right, and then take off your backings. There we go. <clears throat> and I think I'll go to this side. Did I do that on the last card? I don't want to repeat myself. I'll go up higher, which I don't usually do. So we'll give that a shot. Are you straight? Pretty dang straight. All right, and then we'll get some of these. Now, this I will use some of the larger sizes. I did bring out a different embellishment as well. Not sure if I'll be using them, but just in case. There. And then let's do the inside. And if the, if the um, watercolor piece is not dry, we have a way around that. Okay, now, I did not put the um, adhesive sheets on this. So, here goes nothing, basically. I wanted to put a little something on the inside of the card. <clears throat> I just need it to stay put. I am trying to avoid these really skinny spots, but I do want them to stay as well. Okay, not sure I picked this one, but this is the winner. We'll put that on a bit of an angle inside of the card. These are pretty too. They're all pretty. And let's just put that on the inside of the card. I always like to put a little something, whether it be DSP, it could be a stamp, it could be embellishments. I have put embellishments on the inside of cards before. Card number two. Again, simple and elegant. All right, let's come back to this one. Are you dry? I'm going to just grab my heat gun and just do a little, just a little bit. So bear with me while I reach it off of it from another desk. And I'm sorry about the noise. Notice the paper curls a little bit. There we go. Oh, trying to reach. It does, it does um, bend a little bit. 
I'm of the habit of using the side of my desk and going with that. Now, if you remember one of my favorite sets from the mini, I have not used this since since the card that I um, embossed and colored. So we're using the hummingbird. My first attempt uh, was done using um, Memento. And then I realized that stays on is probably going to be a lot better. So I did do a test. There's one, one thing I really love about stays on, and that's the smell. For someone who is so sensitive to smells, I love the smell of stays on. It smells like it's not licorice. I don't know what it is. Now I did re-ink this because it was very, very giving me very light results. Okay, keep that up there. Okay, let's hope this is going to be perfect. Practically perfect in every way. Yeah, I still quote Mary Poppins. Still one of my favorite movies that I've seen. I can't tell you how many times. That and the sound of music. The sound of music is definitely an all-time favorite. Oh, she's beautiful. Phew. All right. I'm going to start this because this is going to be a messy process. And I'm wrecking the sides. I wanted... This is, like I said, this is this is reasonably thick paper. I'm not sure if it says how heavy the paper is. It probably does. But I wanted to mess up the edges a bit. And um, some people have a tool. Um, I used to have one, but I didn't find that it worked. I find that my scissors, these are, these are the um, paper snips from Stampin' Up! And they're mighty sharp even though I've had them for such a long time and I really do need to um, really do need to sharpen them. They're still they're still sharp. The points are still quite quite sharp. So like I said, I just want it super messy, uh, indents as well, which you can also do with your fingernails. This doesn't have to take a long time when I was um, making the original card. I uh, it probably took me longer because I kept playing with it, but because we're on a video, see, and then you can just squash in other spots to make it, and not evenly either. We don't want it to be even. Now I like the bird, like I think it's beautiful, but I wanted to do more. So I still have one of the old, um, old style pads, the ones you can actually squish. Thus the squishing. So you can get that in the lid. So I'm not opening it the regular way. And oh, I need that block back again. All right, come to Sandy. Oh, maybe I don't. Oh, that one is definitely not the right color. Okay, I just had it. Did I not put my Un Momento? There it is. And it's the same color too, which is awesome. So I'm going to take a little bit of that water and just put it in here. I don't think that's as... I want it lighter. So if you don't have the kind of pad that you can um, use the lid, you can take the pad, smush it onto this, and then add a bit of water. Um, you can use your re-inker. So what I wanted to do is add a little bit. Stop getting me wet. I keep spraying myself. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to see some, some water moving. So this is Clipsal Coral, in case I forgot to say it, which I probably did. Um, let's see, I will do here. I need more water. I just want the water this time. This should have a fair bit of brilliance to it. A little bit darker than I want. Let's see if we can go over here. Oh, are you in frame? Yes, you are. Okay, just gonna see if I can get this to be a little lighter. Just pick up some of that color. So it is tone on tone, but it's got this really pretty bit of darkness to it that I rather like. 
Okay, I do want that to dry. So, close that. If you've really soaked this, by the way, you're, you want to dry it, do not get water on your ink pad. It won't do it any favors. All right, one more thing I want to do. And I'm bringing in a piece of grid paper for it. And that's because we're gonna splatter and I don't want to splatter my desk. So this is Stampin' Right marker. I assume we still have them. I've had this forever. Uh, it's basic black, which is what I want. I don't want a ton of this. I just want some here and some there. I know other people use like large drops. I, I, I like the small spray best. Okay, what I want to show you now before I get too far is see the difference. Now realize this is way, 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 way darker, but this one I use Memento and you can see how it kind of, what's the word? Smudged? Yeah, smudged the ink so you stays on, okay? That is your ultimate. All right, get rid of the shiny. More barking dogs, no way. And bring out the rest of the card. <clears throat> what, it's not a basic white. It is not, but we're sticking with the pebbled path. And we're also, also, why do I have two card bases? Interesting. Probably means I forgot a piece. I may have. I, I would look at the original photo, but I don't know where it is. And this is that same paper again. So you can get a lot of, a lot of use out of your paper. That's the inside of the card. Okay, good. That is really big. Oh, <gasps> I forgot to cut it down. Oh, I forgot to tell you. When I did this, I, I cut the paper to, um, five by it was five by seven so I cut it to three and a half I wanted to say that now in case I forget to put that in um, I want to cut this down a bit even though I've messed it up I can fix that so we're just going to very carefully oh my goodness well even if it gets messed up that's okay because we want messy all right so now now my measurements of course will be like way off but that'll do it was just just a little bit taller than I wanted. And I always say it's about the balance, right? It's about the balance. So my handy dandy scissors are still here. So we'll use those. Mess up the edges. And there we go. Now, I want to, before I get too far, I want to take, this is some um, black twine. Um, it's from the combo twin thingy where you get, I believe, five different colors. And I thought the black was striking. So I thought, yeah, that's what we're going with. Let's see if I can remember how I had planned this. Messy is the way to go. Um, I still think the card is, it's going to be elegant. Um, however, it doesn't have to be... If it's too perfect, and then I, it, it, things bother me. So the cool thing about this is, oh look, it's up too high. Bend your paper and move it down. That's all you have to do. I'm gonna cut those tails. They are longer than I would want. Only so much fits in an envelope, right? And actually, if I wanted to, I can move that little bow a little bit closer. It's like my fingers forgot how to make cards or something. I don't know. Okay, so let's cut this little guy. It's shorter than my usual, I know. It will cooperate, don't worry. <clears throat> so this is going to go on an angle. If anything sticks over the edge, I'm going to cut it in a nice way. All right, and somebody forgot to put her glue on its side. Isn't the back pretty too, by the way? That's like a tweed. Really, really pretty. There we go. There, there. Whoa! Look at my finger was there to say, no, don't go over the edge. Is there a top and a bottom? 
Mm. I'm not really seeing it, so. The only reason I'm doing this is just for visual interest. You know, because we have a lot of exposure here. All right, now, you want that flatter for your card? Again, use the edge of your desk, which is what I'm going to do right now. Get it to lay flatter. So the glue will adhere best. And yes, I'm using glue. I might use a little bit more because it's thicker paper. You won't be able to see underneath. I say I might, and then I don't. Oh, wow. The furnace was on, apparently. All right, this piece will go on straight and somewhat centered. Get those tails to sit down. And I've already put the backings on. Um, same paper again. Enjoy your day. That is also from a celebration freebie. Heartfelt hellos right there. I really like this. And, I, and this one, I'm really looking forward to using. Um, I used it in one card so far. Alrighty, so hang on. Almost done. For the inside, I'm not going to do it right now, but what I will be doing, what I will be doing is, make sure that's straight before we push down. It's, it's always harder when stuff is wonky. On the inside, what I'm going to do is just take about this much of the hummingbird and stamp it on the inside. And I'll use Versamark again. And you can color, this was me testing it yesterday, the Versamark. You can you can color on um, with, with the watercolors if you go lightly on regular basic white. All right, couple embellishments. Now I looked. Now that I'm looking, I have the. I don't know that I want the brass brushed brass butterflies on there. I gotta go with these again. You know, kind of when you do um like a series of cards, you kind of want to. You kind of want to keep it, uh, I mean, what's the word that escapes my brain? Um, keep them looking alike. I can't, the word is gone, gone, just totally gone. <clears throat> Let's put the lid on there. Let's bring the cards back in and the other card. So we made this card, obviously. A little darker than I like, and I actually could go in and remove some of that. There's card number two. See how they're kind of matchy-matchy? Okay. Oh, as a word idea. I took my little plastic jackets and threw that on. Keep forgetting to keep my head turned towards. So I've used the same paper, guess what, on all four cards. This is the card, in case you recognize it, this is the card I used on the Instagram hop. You may want to check it out. Um, and I did do the inside of this one. So this is that same softly stippled, and there's that paper again. So it's it's kind of like a little series of cards. So I would love to hear what you have to say. Oh, see, love you more. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Love to hear your uh, how you feel about celebration going away. We only have one celebration a year. Ah, collective awe. Um, but yeah. I had fun, even though I totally messed up that first card and took a, a ridiculous amount of time on it. Totally, totally had fun with these cards, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So, once again, links will go in if you want to shop with me. If you live in Canada, if you live anywhere else, I'm sorry, but you have to shop in your own country. Uh, rules are rules, and um, celebrations ending. I always say, try not to wait till tomorrow, but I am placing my own order tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not, I, I, there's still a few celebration items I want. Um, please subscribe, thumbs up, what else? Comments are good. Um, if, because I know demonstrators, we don't often share each other's videos. Um, unless you're, unless you're like, it depends if you're a demonstrator, demonstrator, or if you're a hobby demonstrator. But if you can share my video, that would be wonderful. I would really appreciate it. But your, your kind thoughts are, um, also appreciated. Thank you so much, and I will see you next Tuesday, next Tuesday at 7 p.m. That's the normal time and the normal day. Alrighty? Alright, thank you for watching. Bye-bye, friends.